but I ended up just skipping the Jonker Walk and just eating here. I think I lose all my followers. Yeah, it's going down on Jonker Street. Every weekend from 6 to 12 p.m., this lively street turns into the hub of Malacca. With hundreds of vendors, there's something for even the pickiest eater. Let's check it out. I just got to the Jonker Walk night market, but you know, I gotta keep the retention high, so I'm sending you guys to the beach. All right, I'll be quick, because I know this isn't the reason why you clicked on this video. If you're in Malacca, you gotta come out to Klembang Beach. The vibes are immaculate. You can rent an inflatable air mattress for 25 ringgit for the entire day. A bunch of street vendors serving desserts, tasty local treats. There's even bunnies to play with. I'm a bunny. You can rent an ATV for 30 ringgit. You can walk up and down the beach. The vibes are amazing. There's a bunch of families with little kids just flying their kites and having a good time, not worrying about any issues in their life. So if you have time, come check out Klembong Beach. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Welcome back guys. Hopefully you didn't get sunburn. Now it's time to check out the Jonker food market. I don't know if you're gonna trust a guy that eats KFC and Burger King. Like what do I know about food and how it tastes? But you know what? Tonight the goal is to find something that makes me say fuyo. Fuyo! And I'm trying to find one of those little drinks in a plastic bag. So let's check it out. So I got dropped off at the back of Jonker Walk. So I'm going upstream right now to the front to see where the madness begins. Malaysians place their toll cards in these fly swatters so that they can reach the toll booth. It's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. If I ended up just skipping the Jonker Walk and just eating here, I think I'd lose all my followers. But we're gonna go get some authentic Malaysian street food and I don't know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. There's a lot, there's like seafood, there's grilled food, you know, hats, New York hats. Everywhere you go, there's New York hats. There's some ice cream, a lot of coconut shakes. So it, it's kind of overwhelming, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna find something to snack on. So those pedal carts that have all the crazy lights and like Pikachus and Hello Kitties. I asked how much they cost and the guy said it was 35 ringgit for a 50 minute ride. Not too bad, not too bad. It's too early to grab one of those. I just made it to one of the entrances. So now I'm gonna go back in and start making some purchases because I'm hungry. We have secured the first food. If you guys are getting a theme by now, you probably will know what it is. We got the chicken satay, grilled to perfection. Mm. Nice. So what makes Malaysian satay different from other satay is the marinade. They focus on lemongrass and brown sugar, so it has this nice kind of charcoal sweet with a little bit of lemongrass punch to it. Very tasty. That's nice of Malacca to put up a statue to honor my cousin. One thing I picked up from my cousin is he would always put money into street artists tip jar. We'd always hang out uh, during Christmas. Our families would take trips together for Christmas time and whenever we would go to like some type of public area and there is a street artist, he would always put uh, money in the tip jar. So that's something that I try and be conscious of whenever I'm out and about so that I can, you know, support the artist, you know, because I'm a fellow artist as well and it's, 
you know, it can be tough sometimes. So, man, this is the second time I brought up my cousin in this video, so maybe I miss him. What? I still haven't gotten used to walking on the left side, so sometimes, you know, on accident I'm running into people because I pass people on the right, but everything's on the left since we're in Malaysia. Second thing tonight, we got the crispy potato and she sprinkled some barbecue seasoning on it. So we're gonna give this a try. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's like a fresh deep fried potato chip. Wow, this fantastic. Third thing on tonight's menu is a 100 plus, which is like a grapefruit soda. It's a Malaysian, Singapore thing. Slightly carbonated, but it's almost like a grapefruit juice. It has electrolytes in it, and yeah, it's gonna give me a little bit of energy. All right, item number four of the night. We're getting a little bit crazier. This is a green tea toasted marshmallow. So as you can see, he took the blowtorch and he just lit that thing on fire. We'll see, I think, I think it's ice cream as well. Sorry, children. It has green tea on the inside. Don't worry, those weren't to eat. At least I think so. Things are starting to shut down. Vendors are packing up. There's not gonna be a Fuyo today. So that means I'm gonna have to check out another night market somewhere else. Thank you guys for watching. I've been almost two months in Malaysia now and I think I deserve, or no, I don't wanna say deserve. I think I can rep this t-shirt well. What do you guys think? Well, thank you guys for watching. Be yourself and you'll make a difference. Peace.